company. Uh, you're going to make you feel very welcome. And no, please, can we start the applause in the front, front row area, please? All my friends at the front, that's lovely. <laughs> Take it all the way to the back. <laughs> Raise the roof, make him feel very welcome. It's the wonderful talents that are. David Mills. Uh, Zoe Lyons, ladies and gentlemen, Zoe Lyons. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? I love Miss Zoe Lyons. I love Zoe and I love being in Brighton. I love Brighton. I love a burnt out old peer and an aging drag queen. It fills me with hope. Uh, no, I'm happy to be here, people. I am happy to be here. And uh, February 1st, what is it, February 2nd? Already February. Can you believe it, my dear? No, 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 no. I'm thrilled. I am thrilled. No, 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 no. Listen, I, I was happy to get rid of 2018. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't know about you people, but 2018 was really farting on my boner. I was done. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, no, 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 no. I'm into, tw I'm into 2019, you know? It's a new year. It's a new me. It's a young year. It's the beginning. I feel like a young person. That's me. No, no, I'm a, like a young people, like over here, the young people, right? We're like the same, on the same wavelength, the young people, the young people. Sorry, Grandpa, you're not going to get this act, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, no, it's a young people. No, 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 I just, I, you know, I may look like a middle-aged gay man. I'm just doing middle-aged gay man cosplay. You know what I mean? It's a young people for me. I'm into all the things that young people are into. You know, like, like K-pop, right? K-pop, you know what I'm talking about, K-pop. K-pop, Korean pop music. <laughs> it's all the young people are into. You gotta focus. K-pop, right? <laughs> Korean pop music. It's all the rage. And it's been like a gateway drug for me. <laughs> no, it has, because I started with the K-pop, the Korean pop music. It has opened up a world of international music, right? Started with the K-pop. Now, Indonesian country music. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, Google it, Google it, but scroll down, scroll down. Because I don't know what some of that shit is, you know what I mean? I don't know. What else with the young people? Oh, technology, right? We're all about technology, right? Oh, yeah, oh, let me tell you. Oh, I even got a home assistant. Did you get a home assistant? You got a home assistant? You, got a, you don't got a home assistant? Alexa, you don't have Alexa? Oh, you gotta get Alexa, friend. No, 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 no. If you don't have Alexa, I'll tell you what, Alexa, it will literally save you from the relentless torture of having to turn on and off the lights. <laughs> Never again. Never, ever again. I'll tell you what, before I got Alexa, if I wasn't turning on that goddamn light, I was turning it off. <laughs> but ne no, 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 never again. Never again. Who, you got it? You got it? It's great, isn't it? Has it started laughing at you? <laughs> no, really. It started, like, randomly started laughing. It's so weird, right? Always when I'm naked. Not nice. <laughs> anyway, so me and Alexa aren't speaking right now. No, it's gotten bad. It's gotten so bad I had to go out and buy a Google Home. <laughs> yeah, so now when I want to turn on and off the lights, I tell Google Home to tell Alexa to turn on and off the lights. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it's so much easier, isn't it easy? You know, I do worry that we're raising a generation of young people who don't know how to turn on and off the lights, <laughs> right? And somehow the electronic grid is gonna go down. We're gonna have to in import Polish people with the skills to turn on and off the lights. <laughs> it's a worry. It's a worry. What else? My, my quest to be a young person. Oh, speed dating. Speed dating, yes, I'm doing the speed dating now. Have you done it, the speed dating? Have you done it? It's for the young people. <laughs> Speed dating. No, no, it is. And you, this would surprise you. Wait a minute. This would surprise you. This would surprise you. But I'm great company on MDMA. So try the speed dating. No, I am. You know what I'm talking about, right? But you know, it doesn't work for everyone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, it doesn't work for everyone because the one guy I was with, he couldn't keep up. You know, with the speed dating, couldn't keep up. Well, it turns out I was speed dating, he was weed dating. Well, that was never gonna work. <laughs> I'll, t I'll tell you what I'm doing in 2019. This is what I'm doing. I'm dropping the gay thing. 
I'm dropping the gay thing. I, uh, drop the gay thing, friend. It's not helping you. <laughs> drop the gay thing. She knows. She's not, no, she's not fooled. She's not fooled. Drop, drop the gay thing. I'm, listen, listen, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, here's the thing about the gay thing. I've been doing it a long time, right? I'm like an LGBT OG, right? So, and the young people won't believe this. You won't believe this, kids. But when I got into it, wait a minute, when I got into it, it was cool. <laughs> literally, literally, it was cool. I don't, some people probably remember this. Remember when it was cool, it was sort of edgy, it was sort of underground, it was sort of punk, there was something cool about it. What is it today being gay? What is it? Inspirational tweets from Tom Daly and grown men singing songs from Frozen. <laughs> I've had it. I've had it. You know, I got into it for the cocaine and blowjobs, you know what I mean? I, d I don't need Tom Daly, you know? That's not what I need. I mean, I wouldn't say no, but that's a different story. That's a different story. So what I'm doing, wait a minute, what I thought I would do, I'd do the gay conversion therapy. The gay, now have you done this, the gay conversion therapy? <laughs> have you done this? <laughs> try it. <laughs> try it, no, try it. Try it, the gay conversion therapy. Listen, it's all the rage. So I went, and you know who it is? It's the Christians. It's the Christians, right? And you know, I love the Christians. I, they're always so happy to help. And <laughs> no, they are. They're great after an earthquake. And I went down the Christians. I went down to see the Christians. I said, you know what? I'm here for the gay conversion therapy. They were thrilled. Because, you know, they rarely get someone who consents, you know? So <laughs> they had to find the form. They were like, okay, wait, wait a minute. You mean we don't need the ropes? What? Anyway. I filled out the form, you know. And, uh, you know, I thought I was doing okay. And then the one, the one question had to come, right? The one question, how many men have you had sex with? <laughs> well, that's hostile, okay? <laughs> I said, how many men have I had sex with? I, you know, how long is a piece of string? <laughs> More importantly, how thick, right? <laughs> right? Okay. You know, I'm not kidding around. They took the form, went in back, came back. They said, you know what? We can't help you. <laughs> the gay in you is too strong. <laughs> I said, are you trying to tell me the gay in me is stronger than Jesus? <laughs> they said, yes. I said, no, you don't know what you're talking about. I've, this is not strong gay. I've seen strong gay. Listen, I've had strong gay in me. This isn't <laughs> it, you know? But what happened this year also, I became British. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm saying that all the time now. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm saying it half the time. You know, it seems to work. Sorry, 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 you know. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And I'm American. I'm American. You know, we're not apologetic people, Americans. We're not apologetic people. You don't want an apology from an American because it usually involves a bit of gunplay, right? <laughs> and where's the American? There's some American in the house, yes? Where is she? Where, Hawaii. Hawaii? Yes? Okay, Dynamite, California, so you can't blame us. <laughs> right? But you know what I always say about Americans, right? Small doses. <laughs> Small doses, very demanding people. Very demanding people. I want, and I want, and I want, and I want. They get the wrong cup of coffee at Starbucks. It's a fucking civil rights issue. You know, I was thinking about those kids trapped in that cave. Remember this in summertime? Remember, th wasn't that something? Wasn't that something? I was transfixed by that story. And those kids, didn't they have humility about them? And, and, and weren't they, didn't they have like a, I don't know, some sort of a, uh, uh, just calm. They were just calm and a humility, a bravery about them. I said to myself, if that was a bunch of Americans trapped in that cave, 
I'll tell you what, they would still motherfucking be in there. <laughs> they, you know they would be. Because what government is going to throw all that money at mounting an international rescue operation just to save a bunch of Americans who are going to come out and sue everybody in sight? <laughs> you know? Sue the divers, sue the government, sue each other, right? That's what Americans do. I just met these people. We're already trying to figure out how to sue each other, right? That's how we say hello in America. No, but I'm a proud Brit now. I'm a proud Brit. So proud. So much to be proud of. So much to be proud of. Theresa May. Theresa May. You know, my people, we call her Tresemme, right? <laughs> I don't know this woman. I d you know, I feel bad for her, but I, d I, I just don't know this woman. Like, I just could never vote for this woman anyway because I can't figure out what she's done. <laughs> like, what has she done? Cut education, cut health care. She still hasn't found those Dalmatians. I think, you know. <laughs> when's it ever going to happen, this woman? <laughs> you know who I like? Ruth Davidson. Oh, come on, she means business. She means, she may look like Michael McIntyre, but she is not kidding around. <laughs> oh, but Miss Theresa May, she loves her Brexit. She loves her Brexit. Not gonna be good for you, Hawaii. Not gonna be good for the immigrants. <laughs> not gonna be, no, it's not gonna be good for the immigrants, Brexit. It's not gonna be good for the immigrants. I'll tell you who it's gonna be really bad for. The Brits. Because you people without immigrants, that's not pretty. <laughs> that's not pretty, friend. Listen, I know what you get up to now that there are no when there are no immigrants around, right? You kick all the immigrants out. Pretty soon you're spending all day rolling cheese down a hill. You're wandering out into a muddy field, putting stones in a circle, <laughs> and sacrificing your pets. I think it's brilliant. I think it's brilliant. I love, I love a stone circle. Have you been to a stone circle, friend? You've been to a stone circle? Are you British? Oh, thank you. Okay, thank God. You, you've been to a stone circle. You're British, of course. You have to. Every Brit, every Brit needs to go to a stone circle once in your life. It's your Mecca. <laughs> it is your Mecca. You get there. You don't say Aluhu Akbar. You just get there. You sing a bit of Kate Bush. It all comes together. <laughs> you know. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Cheese, rollers, cheese rolling, Morris dancing, stone circles, and dogging. That's what the Romans found when they got here. <laughs> That's what will be here when the last immigrant leaves. I can't wait for Brexit. You know, I can't wait. And here's something, I, th I found this out recently. Who's, where's our French friend? Where's our French friend? My dear, do you know, how long you been here? 40 years, so 40, 40. So maybe you, maybe you know this, but you, you know what dogging is, right? You know what dogging is. You know what dogging is, right? But wait, 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 wait. But you know that because you learned it here, right? Right. It doesn't happen anywhere else, people. This is literally only happening in this country. No one else, and they all have laybys and they all have cars. It's only happening here. Isn't it weird? Isn't it weird? It's weird. Anyway, when you go for indefinite leave to remain, you have to do dogging. That's part of the test. Anyway. Anyway, up oh, here also, 2019, I went to an orgy. <laughs> well, I am a gay man after all, so you know. Went to an orgy, it was great fun. Now, I'm trying to think, is that how I know you? Is that how I know you? <laughs> no? <laughs> it was great, it was great. It was in the city of London, right? So, right, super posh and great, great flat. Great flat, but kind of a little bit of a terrible host, if I'm honest. But it was, it was that thing, it was that orgy thing. You know what it's like. like <laughs> well, you know, I, like why is it when you finally have the money for a great orgy flat, you've got a terrible orgy body? Why? <laughs> why is that, right? <laughs> that joke really works in Brighton, you know what I mean? 
people get that joke. It's funny. But oh no, I had a great old time. I had a great time. I got home after five. Usually three is enough. And um, <laughs> no, it was great. It was great. But you know, it's that thing. Don't you find in an orgy, you really got to focus. You know what I mean? You really got to focus. You really got to. You got to be in the moment. You know what I mean? And I, you know, you got to. You got to let go of the future. Right? The Shape of Water too. Let it go. <laughs> right? Let go of the past. Like, almost like Liberty X never happened. And get in the moment. And I was in the moment. You know, I was, I was in the moment. You know, I, I, I was so in the moment. I was in someone else's moment. <laughs> someone was in my moment. You know, it was an orgy. It was an orgy. But always what's it like, you know, always what's it like, you're trying to focus and then some random thought comes out of the blue, takes you out the moment. You know how that is, like, oh, you know. So I'm focused, I'm in the moment, I'm in the moment. Some random thought comes, and there's a mirror, of course, as is convention, you know that. And so I'm in the moment, in the moment, and uh, uh, boom, I look in the mirror, I think, do you know I am so turning into my mother. But then I look more closely, it turns out it wasn't me, it was my mother. She was looking over my shoulder at the top. Oh, thank goodness, you know. Well, she throws the best parties, people. What am I gonna do, right? No, but we're very similar, me and my mom. We're very, no, we are very similar. She was in show business for a long time. Uh, she was in a double act. But then the donkey died and she could never, No, she used to say, wait a minute, she used to say, you can bring dignity anywhere. That was the name of the donkey. <laughs> and she'd... <laughs> she'd bring that donkey everywhere, I'll tell you what. I'm talking like birthday parties, you know, old age homes, bar mitzvahs, you know, planes, planes, yes. And they had to let her bring it on a plane because also it was her emotional support animal. <laughs> but people couldn't see it. They couldn't see the emotional connection. They thought it was just physical. I said, you know what? Pay the extra $10, you can see the full show. People are funny. People are funny, right? This is hilarious. Oh, you know, this is the other thing that happened over the Christmas period. Now listen, people, I don't want you to think different differently of me. Um, do you know I made a dog come? I mean, listen, I didn't, it, listen, I wasn't. I know, I know, no, I know, but dog owners will know this happens, right? I, I didn't even know the dog. I didn't even know the dog, you know? I didn't even know the dog. It was a friend's dog, it was a friend's dog. I hadn't seen the friend in a long time. I said, like, oh, gorgeous, you, the dog got involved, you know? Oh, you, you, you're gorgeous too. Look at you, gorgeous, I love you, you're gorgeous. Flipped over, came all over itself. <laughs> I was like, oh God, uh, I still got it. <laughs> I mean, don't worry, I pulled out after that, but I just. <laughs> wow, 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 literally, literally. Listen, I'm gonna end on some good news. You want some good news? Want some good news? Yes. Joe and Chris, my non-binary friends, are getting married. Hey, so you know where I am, right? Do you know where I am? Do you know where I am with this non-binary? Do you know what I mean? They don't use he or she. It's too restrictive, they use they. And so do they. <laughs> well, they saw that they were using they and they thought, wait a minute, maybe I'm them and they are, so they're them. <laughs> and they're them. <laughs> and they're them. <laughs> and that's that. No, they're getting married. Wait, they're getting married. Uh, their parents aren't very happy about it, but their parents are fine. <laughs> no, wait a minute, it's become a thing because they said that if they show up to their wedding, they might even walk out of their own wedding, so. Uh. Oh, and also they went missing. They went missing, I had to go to the police. 
and describe them. I said, okay, they're tall and they're short. <laughs> they're blonde and they're brunette. What's the problem? <laughs> the police said, well, how many are they? I said, they're two. And they're one. <laughs> and they're one. The police said, they're three. I said, they're two and they're one. The police said, they're three. I said, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> you're trying to get me to misgender them. <laughs> or Mr. Gender them. Or <laughs> I said, whatever gender agenda you're trying to engender, I thought that was very clever, you can fuck off. <laughs> I mean, how dare they? <laughs> Not them, them. <laughs> they found them. They found, no, they did, they found them. They, no, they were just in a changing room at Zara trying to figure out whether to have a hen party or a stag do. <laughs> They're having both. They're having both. The important thing is they're home safe and dry. But they're still out there. <laughs> Maybe they're here. Who knows? Listen, I've had it with you people. I'm David Mills. Good night. God bless. Go to hell. Thank you very much. We have your second of your uh, famous intervals now. We're going to charge your glasses one more time before we bring on your brilliant, brilliant headline act. Uh, one more time for David, please. <laughs> See you in 15 minutes. <laughs> 